Hey uh, YouTube, how's it going? Um, today we're working on the uh, push block, and this is this is still really hot. But this is the six inch by eight inch plate that I just cut with a plasma cutter. This will be tucked in there. I'll show you as soon as that cools off. I'm gonna have a couple of uh, gussets, one on either side of the ram, and uh, what we'll do then is we'll weld those on. I'll use a grade 8 bolt because the plate is actually, this plate is going to tuck in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to weld a solid wall plate here that's going to look like this and it will touch uh, the pusher here. So all the pressure will be on the plate and on this mated surface and really the grade 8 bolt here will just be to um, pull back the pusher plate but all the force is going to be applied on the front so it won't be bending um, I won't have it offset to where this is, could bend because I may not get it out because this is a little different setup it doesn't have a screw type um, face on it so I'm not really exactly sure what that came off of so we're going to do that and then um, once we get that we'll um, bolt we'll have three and drill three holes here, have grade eight bolts um, to another piece of metal that'll sandwich this and keep it on this rail. And uh, but yeah, give it a little bit, just a little bit of wiggle room so it'll it'll move around a little bit and uh, won't bind up. And uh, we'll get started on that. Okay, so we cut our piece here out of a 12 by 12 piece, and uh, here's a too hot to touch, but uh, six inches by uh, what is this? This is six by seven, and I actually got to turn it around. So let me grab my gloves so you can get an idea, because that piece is very hot, but. Uh, Harbor Freight uh, Plasma Cutter does a really good job. This is half inch thick steel. That's the way I want it. Alright guys, I have to say I like this Harbor Freight uh, Plasma Cutter a lot. And the more that I use it, the better I'm getting. And uh, I'll tell you, the, ooh that's really hot. Ooh. But these things, you know, I half inch thick and I'm just cutting these things and I used to be pretty sloppy but now these are two freehand cuts I didn't even use a straight edge and uh, I got it running at uh, 80 psi about 75 psi somewhere in there just to really blow the slag out but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that man it is pouring out We've got our base plate to which we're going to put our bolts and our screws to keep it on. We've got it sitting on a short uh, piece here that's going to be welded all to the base plate. And then I got a clamp just holding these two up against the pin so I can make sure that they are they are level. Okay, so I got uh, two tacks on the end and a tack in the middle. One tack inside, and then same kind of deal. Um, and what I did is I cut this pin in, in here uh, to do a couple things. One, hopefully wick away some of the excess heat. And the other is to keep these things uh, stationary as I weld on the inside. I'm going to do a half a bead here then a half a bead on this side then I'll turn it and do a half a bead up here and a half a bead down there just to try to keep the heat from from warping that and moving it around
hurt my boot. Ouch. That was hot. That one was hot. All right, so that's pretty much where we're gonna leave it today. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is mount the face. And uh, I just wanna make sure that um, I get a good half inch thick piece that's good and straight. And I'll go, uh, oops, the hole width six inches here. We're gonna drill three holes on either side, put grade eight bolts, and then um, just a quarter inch thick strip here, and then it'll bolt to a cover piece here that'll give this a little bit of play side to side, but not much, so it doesn't bind. And um, then after that, we are going to mount the pump. That'll be the next thing we do. And then we'll hook up our hoses and uh, fire it up. So thanks a lot for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.